G'day YouTube, how the heck are we doing? It is Foulplay Hero, and welcome back for the second match of this Pauper League. Uh, apologies for the uh, game counter, it's slightly off. We won the last match. Um, we uh, lost the Daryl this game. Our opponent has Mulligan to 6. We've done the same. Uh, this hand is no good, but so we'll go to 5. <clears throat> Alright, well, we'll keep this, but it's not great because we currently don't have access to white mana. Uh, probably like two creatures is better than the cartouche at this point. Uh, this is a pretty rough matchup, I'm mostly certain. They've got a uh, main deck. Dawnbringer Cleric, we're going to have a bit of trouble. Uh, so Deathblade Elite, Human Soldier, Provoke. When it attacks, you may have target creature, so they can't activate that. With an active printable, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to Deathblade Elite. Sentinel's Eyes. Alright, so we're versing a heroic deck here. We've also given up lifelink. Man, I wish we had like a proper hand here. <laughs> Take a bit of damage. They're down to two cards in hand. Oh, that's a pretty good start. Alright, so we've currently got a 3-3. Three, three. I guess we just uh, go in there. And if we attack, our opponent's going to attack and gain more life. Uh, unless they put down like another aura, like their own ethereal armor. So we should probably chip them down a little bit. Uh, so there's Hyena Umbra. Alright. Well, we wouldn't really have been able to block now, would we? One card left in their hand now. We find Commune. So let's lead off with Commune. Uh, nothing too exciting there. I guess we take the Abundant Growth. Draws another ethereal armor. All right, well, we do have the bigger guy now. Let's attack in. Uh, no need to go on the defensive while our life's still at a healthy 15. Uh, okay. Oh, opponent fogged the damage because they just used the active there. Okay, well that's bad. I guess I shouldn't have attacked in. Sorry, I did not think about that one. All right, so we take three damage there still. It's not over yet. This, uh, this whole thing can start by getting our Sohana Ledge Walker in play. So we'll also play a Scout out wide. And we won't attack with Bogle just yet. Because we're going to have to Ethereal Armor on the Ledge Walker. Start attacking for a 5 a turn that way. While holding up this guy as a blocker. Alright, so opponent plays another land. And they're passing to us. We find Armadillo Cloak. Uh, we could play that out. But again, we're just interested about a far, <laughs> interested in a fast clock right now. And that's actually 6. So I had that slightly off. So our opponent's creature does not have flying. They cannot block Silhana Ledge Walker. I'll come back down to 19. Alright, and another Deathblade Elite for our opponent. I guess they're just flooded. And that's an attack for 9 now. Next turn with Sentinel's Eyes, we will have the win. And our opponent concedes. Um, so I'm not going to bother looking up a tech list for this one, uh, mostly because I think it is a bit of a janky build. Uh, a reminder guys, if you do enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. Um, Alright, so Standard Bearer is quite good. It's going to make their auras target our creature, so it's definitely one to bring in. They're a white deck. They're going to have a lot of ways to remove our enchantments, likely. So Krifa's Insight is uh, boarding in in preparation for that. A Ram Throw is in there to fight creatures because uh, their creature is kind of good, right? Alright, so in this matchup, um, because we're bringing in Krifa Fixes Insight, we probably... Um, don't want to board out too many auras because we lose value. So I think the play here is to board out Commune with Spirits. So now this is going to make getting into our white manor a bit harder and maybe Standard Bearer a bit harder to cast. But I think it is the right decision. And then I like Satessan Training because it sort of replaces itself. So I might actually trim down on Rancor there along with the Ledge Walkers and the Commune. When I'm keeping seven, we'll look for better. All right, this will do. Keep and. So I just decide what to get rid of here. I guess it's just a mana source. 
abundant growth plus like three draws should hopefully get us there. Excluded step, a little bit slow from the opponent. We found our mana source. All right, so hopefully no standard bearer here. That's exactly what we find, see? Um, the good news about these cartouche, so test and training can only target creatures we control. Same with Cartouche's Solidarity. So we definitely want to put this one on top. I think we just want to, no, we don't threaten the trade. If our opponent has the second standard bearer, I guess I'd probably take it. I mean, this is like a highly valuable card, but I don't want to be left with zero creatures. All right, Deathblade Elite from the opponent. Find another forest. All right, let's get some scrying on. I guess that's a free one. Uh, so we'll keep that on top. All right, and then we'll just cast the Abundant Growth on the Grotto, drawing a card. All right. No attacks just yet. All right, so when it throws down on lifelink, attacks in for one. Uh, I guess we just take that. I wonder if they have the second standard bearer and they're wanting to trade. Maybe they don't. Well, we find this guy. Um, I guess next turn we can cast him and mask. All right, let's just pass and be a little bit tricky here. I want our opponent to do the same play. It's been like a super slow match, this one. They might have a pump effect for the standard bearer. I guess we'll see in a moment. Yep, so Kometra's Blessing. And I mean, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Already have what we need in hand here. Benevolent Blessing, choose a color. Enchant Preacher has protection from the chosen color. Okay. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of disgusting. Does that just stay on my creature? What the heck is this? That is really powerful. Holy cow. Well, I guess I'm going to block now. Um... <laughs> Oh, he's provoking the standard bearer, so we have to block this way. All right, well, uh, there we are. <laughs> Trailblazer. All right, I guess we're drawing two more standard bearers now. Uh huh. Thurial armor. Okay, if we can find a creature. You can see from our opponent's hand. Um, I guess because they were holding up two mana, um, they used the Kemetra's Blessing the first time, and then the second time they used the Benevolence Blessing. So I guess they've just had these re reactionary spells in their hand the whole time. Just attacking for two. Still plenty of time to get back into it. Our opponent plays Benevolent Bodyguard, attacks for two. So target creature gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Emerge unscattered. Gains protection from a color of your choice until end of turn. Sure. So we take three. And then that one has a rebound. All right. So still not dead. Cartouche is forced to target a creature we control. So it's tech around standard bearer. All right. Opponent uh, rebounds over here. Yes, that's an attack for six this time. Uh, well, we need a creature now. Another bodyguard. All right, that's not a creature. Uh, so I think the plan is mostly fine. Um, if they play that damn white aura, it's going to be pretty annoying. That's just, that's just level up tech on the standard bearer, right? But we just have to assume they don't have that one. Um, that or if we put enough auras down on a hexproof creature anyway, we'll be fine. Uh, before standard bearer hits the battlefield from our opponent's end. Alright, so no creature hand, we will mulligan. This looks fine, we'll go ahead and keep. Uh, there's no way for us to get everything we need down. Like, there's no way for us to turn one Utopia Sprawl and then turn two Armadillo Cloak to get it past an opponent's standard bearer. 
Um, so I guess we just go Scout and then Utopia. Um, there's no other line. Uh, we'll put the duplicate Hexproof creature on the bottom. And our opponent casts Trailblazer. We find Utopia Sprawl. So we can only get one of those out currently. And we can't currently attack into Trailblazer either. Griffix is Insight, not a bad find. Maybe we can find a Cartouche or another Satessan Train on it if our opponent um, plays out Standard Bearer. All right, looks like they don't have it. They're going for lifelink here. Into Sentinel's Eyes. All right, well, we're pretty happy to see that. <clears throat> Another Utopius roll. <laughs> okay, deck. Uh, I guess we're just crew fixes inside at this point. If we cloak now, we'll see one card deeper before we crew fixes inside. I guess, yeah, it's cloak, but we can't attack with cloak because our opponent currently has three power. We only have three toughness. And Nevolent Blessing on their own creature, probably giving protection from green, sure. Which means we're never going to be able to block their creature with Scout, that's fine I guess. Rancor, okay. So what does that change? Not too much. I guess maybe I should be floating white there. Okay, so we find Cartouche, we find Sentinel's Eyes. And Abundant Growth. It's a shame to lose out on Standard Bearer there. I could have got a free Utopia Sprawl down there actually. I've done that wrong. Sorry, I've wasted a mana guys. That's a slight misplay. Uh, still no spot to attack here. Theory or Armor from the opponent. Alright, now we're in trouble. Hopefully no other Auras. Never mind Bodyguard, okay. All right, well, we uh, we need this Armadillo Cloak to start doing some work. The Warrior Token off to the side will can be a chump blocker for the Trailblazer. Let's go you here. Uh, you can go on white, right? Yeah. Go over here, draw a card. Ethereal Armor off the top would have been really nice. Looks like we didn't get it. We still can't attack, holy smokes. I really need an Ethereal Armor, man. Uh, skin of our teeth, gut shot. Oh, come on, man. You just had everything this game. All right, GG's opponent, well played. Um. Yeah, I mean, first strike aura would have made all the difference earlier on. Um, th these heroic decks can be difficult to play into because usually their creatures get bigger from enchantments than what yours do. Um, it's just a shame in this final match that we bricked on Thiral Armor and Ancestral Mask. Um, I, I think it's probably 50 50. Maybe we're slightly favored, but. Yeah, it, losses are going to happen, and we did see a lot of sideboard hate help our opponent out um, in all the games, exactly where they needed it. Alright, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Till next time, have a wonderful day, I'll see you then.